It was interesting. We were talking before the speech when they had released the excerpts uh, and mm -hmm. there was nothing on the, on the public option at that time. But the president did definitely address it tonight. Uh, and he had basically a message to uh, both sides in this debate uh, to the to the left, the progressives and the Democrats. Uh, Nicole, he said, listen, the public option and he, and he pushed for the public option, but he said it's just one idea. It shouldn't be a deal breaker. And he also warned those on the right uh, not to make the public option out uh, to be something more than it is. He said it's only for a small minority of Americans who won't have access to any other uh, options. Uh, so president definitely, definitely defending the public option, but saying it is not a deal breaker. Uh, the president, of course, Nicola, as we heard, dispelling a lot of uh, fighting back a lot of against a lot of misconceptions. He talked about the death panels. He said it's a lie, plain and simple. He talked about whether, uh, uh, you know, health insurance reform uh, uh, would allow illegal immigrants uh, to, to, to get uh, insurance. He said that's not true either. And he said my proposal has also been attacked by some who reform uh, 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 to, uh, say that abortions would be funded, and he said dispelled that as well. So the president trying to lay to rest a lot of misconceptions. We also heard him put out an olive branch to Republicans. He even by name, he uh, talked about John McCain and how he incorporated some of John McCain's uh, ideas in his plans. Of course, John McCain, his rival in last year's campaign. Uh, we also heard the president, though, besides putting out an olive branch, putting up a warning that if you try to bring this down because of political gain, I will fight you. And he also tied so much of this tonight to the economy and saying that basically they're interchangeable here, that if we don't reform health care, it's going to just continue to make things much, much worse with the economy, Nicole. Yeah, he said, if you misrepresent the plan, we will call you out. But speaking of calling out, you were mentioning uh, the little tidbit about illegal immigrants. So uh, we heard somebody call something out, and I'm not sure exactly what that was, but let's watch it. Let's try to make sense of it after. There are also those who claim that our reform efforts would ensure illegal immigrants. This too is false. The reforms, the reforms I'm proposing would not apply to those who are here illegally. It's not true. And one more misunderstanding I want to clear up under our plan. No federal dollars will be used to fund abortions, and federal conscience laws will remain in place. So somebody, Paul, was calling out lie. You lie. You lie was, you, if you hear it on the audio, uh, we've gone back and listened to the, uh, uh, the recordings of this, uh, and we're trying to figure out just who that was, uh, what member of Congress uh, yelled out, you lie. And, uh, but, uh, and you heard the boos there, and you heard the yeah. president say, not true. Uh, listen, there, this has been a very heated partisan debate the last couple of months over health care reform. Uh, and uh, it, it, it reached that chamber tonight. As you mentioned right off the bat, Nicole, the Democrats applauding, the Republicans most times not applauding tonight. There are some big differences of opinion here. The president trying to, 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 to reach out to both sides. It's not an easy task. Uh, tonight's speech uh, is one step towards that. Yeah, and what we couldn't see from some of these shots on CNN.com Live uh, coming from our Dana Bash saying uh, that some Republicans in the audience were holding up Republican-backed health care plans and holding up signs saying, you know, what bill? Um, we had the Republican response come out of Louisiana. Paul, let's just take a quick recap to what uh, Representative Bustani said and then talk out of that. Republicans are pleased that President Obama came to the Capitol tonight. We agree much needs to be done to lower the cost of health care for all Americans. On that goal, Republicans are ready and we've been ready to work with the president for common sense reforms that our nation can afford. Afford is an important word. Our country is facing many challenges. The cost of health care is rising. Federal spending is soaring. We're piling huge debt on our children and families and small businesses are struggling through a jobless recovery with more than 2.4 million private sector jobs lost since February. So, Paul, he was basically coming out from the perspective of a surgeon saying he's dealt with patients in the past uh, who didn't need surgery in some cases. Do you think that that argument resonated for the GOP? Uh, you know, it's an argument that they've been pushing for a, a while here, and they picked this congressman, uh, Bustini, from uh, Louisiana because uh, he is a doctor, a surgeon, uh, and they thought that he would be a, uh, you know, a good person to, to give the Republican response. Uh, 
we heard from both sides tonight, from the president, from the Republicans, and both sides hinting towards the possibility of trying to find common ground. It's not going to be that easy uh, if both sides are willing to give here and to talk to each other. Not only that gang of six in the Senate Finance Committee, but on a broader scale, something can be done. But at the, at the same time, we saw the partisan divide. It was very, very obvious as you looked at the members of, uh, of Congress in that chamber tonight, Nicole. E